Now, despite signing the Kyoto Protocol, Australia, along with the US, Canada and Japan, is resisting pressure to deep cuts in its greenhouse gas emissions. That's unwelcome news for parts of the globe where the effects of climate change are already being felt. Marga Ortigas went to Sultan Kudarat in the southern Philippines, where she found farmers struggling to deal with unpredictable weather. Norija Kamid braves the river to get her daughter to school an hour away in another town. Norija lost her only son here a few years ago, when floodwaters suddenly came rushing down after strong rains. It never used to happen, she said, but something's been very strange about the weather. Her husband Lopez feels the weather is the root of many of their troubles. Harvest has been poor and they're barely able to make ends meet. It rains when it's supposed to be dry, dry when it's supposed to rain, first drought, then sudden floods. How are we to grow anything like that? The crops just die. The unpredictable weather isn't the only problem farmers here have to contend with. This valley is in what's called a sensitive area. That's contested land amongst the Muslim tribes and also the Philippine government. Residents here have had to evacuate their farms many, many times over the years because of the armed conflict. These children have grown up under the shadow of war between Muslim separatists and the Philippine government. Now, because of climate change, they also have to struggle with hunger. The head teacher said he's had pupils collapse from not having enough to eat. And just this year, over 100 students have dropped out because of a food shortage. The children have no choice, he said. They have to help their farmer parents find other ways to feed the family. He blames the erratic weather damaging the crops. Erlinda has all but given up on her family's crop. She never had to work the field before, but the harvest fails every year, she says, so now she has to help her husband earn a living. She cuts grass to sell on, and to feed her family, she has to scavenge for snails. If there's enough, she sells those on too. All in all, she earns 20 U.S. dollars a month if she's lucky. The school teacher says people here are paying the price of progress elsewhere. The school gives the children what it can, though we don't have much to spare. We want to be heard. I'm not sure exactly what is to blame, but whatever or whoever has caused this climate change, this destruction, please reduce it, please stop. Farmer Lopez says all he wants is to progress, to give his remaining children a better future. Most here don't know if that's even possible. The costs are too high, they say, and they fear they may always be slaves to conflict and the crazy weather. Margot Ortigas, Al Jazeera, Sultan Kudarat, Southern Philippines.